Mm. Hey, uh, disclaimer about the phantom counting. So this table is um, set up to count individual holes. Right now it does have a phantom count on the single hole count, which totalizes over here with all the other counts. Um, we should really have some bottles out, but for the purpose of demo, I'll just use my hand. But um, when a bottle passes in, they'll count once on the rising edge of the distance sensed. So even though I'm pulling my hand out, it doesn't sense that. Um, these two holes represent different size bottles, and this ring represents how would it would light up an application to show how full the bins are. Yeah. When reaching a certain amount, it would turn from a green color if you don't to a bill, yellow color, and then when full you know, to a red color. And then that would be able to be reset using the keypad over here as well, which is basically a control for the entire system. We can put in glass bottle count on this display with the keypad. Say we had 12 uh, glass bottles sitting off to the side and we wanted to add it to our total count. We put in 12, press the A button, and that would be added to our total count. To, can to clear this display, hitting the B button would make that reset. And then you can transfer that over again to get rid of it, pressing B to clear. So all of this is controlled by the Raspberry Pi, or not Raspberry Pi, excuse me, the DE0 Nano, which is an FPGA, which means when we turn it on, it's an immediate startup because it's all hard programmed and persistent. So there's no computer attached to this to tell it what to do. It already knows what it should be doing. And this count over here takes all three of these and adds them up. Great. Could you lift it up and uh, yeah, show the answer? Um, the wiring's not that great. Um, the gauge is higher than it needs to be for the prototype. But um, these displays all share the same uh, serial uh, input control. The display or the uh, proximity sensors we're using are perfect for this application because they have the range that is about the width of a large plastic bottle. And they have to have individual serial inputs to be controlled because of these stagnant addresses that they have. But all of this connects over here to the uh, the DE0 Nano. These lights here would be used to light up the hole on the outside of these, uh, I believe they're flanges. Is that yeah, they're, mm -hmm. they're toilet flanges. Mm -hmm. And they are actually really bright, um, although we don't have them for demo purposes. They, they definitely are <laughs> um, pretty da dazzling. Um, um, we'll have that probably um, revised in the design so that they work in future revisions. So, excellent. And, uh, just for the sake of demonstration, we've got a couple bottles to put in. Might want to mention that the toilet flanges. Oh yes, I forgot to mention the the C button on this. If held for held for th uh, one and a half seconds, will clear all the displays except for the keypad input. Okay. And we have bottles just for test. That one kind of a phantom there, but that's it. And large two liter bottle counts. And bottle through the wrong hole still counts. Oh,